as the UFR First Vice President and the Chairman of the UFR National Associations Committee, I have the pleasure to introduce to you, dear delegates, the application of the Gibraltar Football Association for UFR membership. So you ask for Vu que ce n'est pas le cas, je prends acte de la demande d'affiliation de, de, de Gibraltar a été acceptée. Voilà, je voudrais maintenant, vous pouvez applaudir. The celebrations behind us and the news. We don't have the exact details of the number of votes. Apparently, according to the news we are hearing at the moment, we're hearing an overwhelming majority in support of Gibraltar's application. But that breaking news story in the last few seconds that the GFA have become Team 54. And the Chief Minister, Fabian Pigado, who is waiting to uh, talk to us here at Casemates, joins us live. Chief Minister, uh, what brilliant timing, I suppose you must be absolutely ecstatic this afternoon. Congratulations, Gibraltar. At last, the European family of football recognizes Team 54 as it should have done so many years ago. This is a great day for sport in Gibraltar. It's not a day for politics, and Casemates is the place to celebrate it. But today is about celebrating today. Spontaneous celebrations, as we're seeing already, with that Gibraltarian sporting spirit coming through. We've always been the underdogs. David has beaten Goliath. Team 54 has made it. Here we go. Looking at uh, this image now of Gibraltarians in red and white with the football shirt, some of people in tears. What does this mean to you? Look, everybody will remember where they were the day that Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. I wasn't even born, but those who were will remember it. People remember where they were where Kiana Lorino became Miss World, and people will remember where they were on the day that UEFA finally admitted the GFA as full members.